Hello everybody, welcome to another edition of Foodie Friday. Today we're going to make a very detoxifying, very cleansing, great for your immunity, great for your skin, juice today. It's called the Ultimate Beat. Um, it is a new twist on beet juice. It's not just beets. An apple, it's a few more ingredients. So let's take a look at those ingredients. Okay, so here's your ingredients two beets, one orange, one stalk of celery, two carrots, one apple, and about one inch of ginger. Well, maybe a little more, but <clears throat> one inch of ginger for the ultimate beet. Okay, before we get started, you may not be able to tell, but I went to a funeral today. Um, my elementary school principal passed away, and uh, he was a very loved man in this community, not only for his work and education, but he was also a children's art author. Uh, his name is Bill Wallace, wrote a book called A Dog Called Kitty, was the first one that was published, and wrote about 30 other books. But uh, if you have any kids, I would strongly recommend A Dog Called Kitty for them. It's a great book. Uh, but in preparing to go to the funeral, I'm having clothing issues, finally. <clears throat> Pardon me. Like, even my dress shoes feel loose, which may sound weird to some of you, but, like, belts that fit, like, a month or two ago don't fit anymore. There's no point in even trying to put holes in them. Um, my dress shirts are fitting so much looser. I mean, it's just crazy. The, uh, my suit that I wore to my friend's mother's funeral a month or so ago. The uh, jacket pulls out way far, so it's kind of exciting. We're going to have to go clothes shopping very soon. So, let's get to the beat. Let's get to the beat and the juice. Gave you the ingredients. Write them all down. So, let's turn on the Omega. And two beats. Juice. There's the juice. These beets weren't the best beets. <laughs> they were the biggest on the rack. Um, all the beets were tiny. I mean, like, slightly bigger than a golf ball. So, I mean, usually beets are good size. Oh, yeah. Beets are wonderful to stay in your skin there. Okay, so two beets. Oh. Two carrots. I'm sure you guys all know I love me some carrots. Crunch, 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 crunch. An orange. Horse peel. It's weird how it goes from cruncher to no cruncher. One apple. You know, and some people core their apples, some people don't. You know, I don't. I'm using an Omega. Uh, here in a second, the seeds will pop out the front here. So, you know, I don't feel like I'm going to try to get away. Okay, come on. I know it's boring watching me use the Omega, but the slow turns, they say you get 90% of the nutritional value. Then my favorite, favorite, favorite food, celery. Just kidding. I'm going to do a little cap of celery. Now, normally I'd make this with like barely an inch of ginger, but I feel like I need some ginger. We've had ginger in probably like a week or so, so I'm going to throw some extra ginger in there. 
that is the ultimate bee. Let's see how it tastes. Yes, it takes a little longer with an Omega, but hey. It's not that much longer, is it? Oh, that's beautiful looking. Well, one full glass. Look at that. Beautiful purple color. Oh, so let's see if it tastes like dirt. Now, if any of you have ever done like your basic one, one, um, one beet, two apples, beet juice type recipes. You know that it's kind of earthy tasting. So let's see with all these other ingredients how it tastes. It's really good. It's not as earthy. It's a little bit earthy. I can't even taste the ginger. Oh, there it is. Celery. I can definitely taste the celery. Boy, I have like this palate that says, oh, celery. So, oh man, that's good. It's a good one. You guys should try it. That's the ultimate beat. I'm Steve, the Raw Food Kimple Master. Here's an extra weapon to fight.